Remember, guys, we will be doing multiple Destiny 2 giveaways, so make sure you like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. The links are in the description below. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Snipe here with TKO Gaming bringing you guys a very very easy simple quick guide on how to do Axis hard mode plus tips on how to complete the challenge mode of access now if you guys have seen us on our stream you know we've carried people doing this raid we've done it ourselves many 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 times and this is the strategy we use we're going to give you guys the breakdown from the guns to the positioning to the characters to what you should be doing and if you're messing up go freaking jump off the map no don't do that but before we get into the video as you guys know we are creeping up on 5,000 followers on twitter and i'm gonna be dropping the last eye of eternity emblem up for grabs so all you have to do is follow us on twitter before that 5,000 mark we're gonna be doing a lot more giveaways on our social media guys so make sure you follow us on everything all the links are in the description below and make sure you turn on notifications that way you know when we tweet and post on social media so you don't miss out on the giveaways so let's get into this video what you guys want essentially is high dps weapons i'm using raid weapons in this video guys because the chaos dogma is a great weapon i can't wait this scout rifle will be dropping in arc in the adept 390 version you can also use weapons like high impact snipers i'm also using the raid sniper in this video but what you want to do is you want to have a diverse array of characters on your team and honestly if you're not very good at staying alive in raids i would recommend being a solar warlock why because if you die you get a second life and that's exactly what i'm doing in my video to show you guys how effective that can be now i think i do die once where i get pushed off the map because of access but hey it's a good safety net to have so what you want to do essentially is position people two on the left two in the middle two on the right and have one person on each side have a very strong sword everyone else can have rocket launchers or whatever else sleeper simulants whatever you want to use i would recommend two weapons as you guys know rockets with the cluster bomb perk on it help a lot so you guys can use that and also you can use the weapon of dark drinker which is a sword but you guys can go use that it works really well on the boss as well personally i don't care i use galahorns and and on the last phase you can use the cannons and do massive dps as you're seeing but essentially what it is is you want to move together clear dps communicate on each side let people know when you have the siva charge and as you guys know when access teleports you want to make sure that you are calling out because for challenge mode each time access teleports there is a platform not on the side of which axis teleport so it'll be the other two sides one of those two sides you have to go and slam on those siva sacrificing platforms it's essentially the platform where the servitors go to sacrifice themselves so you just have to slam that everyone on your team gets a super and i would recommend utilizing that super for even more damage now our damage on axis is pretty trash but i'm pretty sure that i'm a 390 doing this because hey i pretty much have never gotten to 400 light because i'm a noob no i'm not i just really don't care about light level it doesn't really mean much to me but i know it means a lot to you guys so tell me how many characters do you guys have that are 400 light because that's pretty tight and how many of you guys have a hundred percent completed the age of triumph record book now guys remember there's a couple great drops that do come from the challenge modes in the wrath of the machine now after they have been updated you can not only get a bunch of adept exotic primaries elemental primaries but you can also get a very rare shader called the Weldfire, plus a very rare red siva sparrow which is also very very cool so guys at the end of the day make sure you're doing massive damage make sure you're communicating make sure you're helping take out that captain the guy with the sword should be taking out that captain the servitors before they go and sacrifice make sure you call out you know void in the middle arc on the right solar on left whatever the order is make sure you go pick up the bombs you throw it at the boss and you also make sure that if you do have empowerment you call it out and if access does not come to your side then you are there to slam the platform so you can get challenge mode done very quick guide i hope it helped you guys make sure you check out the other videos 
on the channel they're there to help you guys out they're there to help everybody in destiny out if they want to if you don't want to they don't have to i don't really care but i'm really tired guys i'm really really late i got work in like three hours i'm grinding youtube to help grow the family so if you guys want please do hit that subscribe button hit that like button let's see if we can get to a thousand likes i think with the views that we do get and having you know over 50,000 followers i think we can do that but i love you guys either way no matter what Please do connect with us on our social media and see how you can get guaranteed runs in raids and trials in the description below. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.